Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to properly screen share somebody because a lot of people out there think they know how to screen share and they think they're doing it right but truly they're messing up really hard and um, so I'm going to show you step by step how to find any client, ghost client, anything I mean if you can't find something like notice then you shouldn't even be staff but I'm going to go through everything so um and yeah right now I have a ghost client on just to show you guys like how to be able to detect that too like injection clients everything so first of all you want to make sure they don't log off cuz look it's common sense if the person logs off they they can easily like you know delete the client do whatever so if you, if you let them log off and you still proceed with the screen share just stop it and auto ban them if you don't you shouldn't even be staff like it's common sense just don't let them log off as simple as that like even during the screen share like you shouldn't let them close their minecraft so first thing you obviously want to do to be able to you know detect the obvious shit for example uh... you know just go like to their just their app data like their minecraft and everything and oh make sure i don't have much folders here but some people tend to have way more depending on how many programs they have installed but make sure to scroll all the way down or like look through it all because they might have their actual Minecraft in somewhere. If there's like enough files for it to be like a scroll, then make sure to scroll, you know, like all the way down so you could see everything. I don't have that many, but some people do, just to keep that in mind. And you want to go to your .minecraft, you know, scroll all the way down here too to be able to, you know, see everything. And um, you want to check their mods too. Now, people, some people use mods, some people don't. I like to use mods, but um, a lot of ghost clients are hidden in Toggle Sneak. Now, the size here is 21 kilobytes. If you see a toggle sneak that is, let's say, 40, 50, 60, or whatever, if it's like around that size range, that means there's probably a ghost client hidden inside of it. Normally, it should be like 21 kilobytes. Like for 1.8, it's 22 kilobytes. You know, in the 20 kilobyte range, like not that big. That's how big the average should be. If it's like, you know, 40, 50, 60, then it's probably a ghost client is hidden inside of it. So, um, that's one thing. And. Uh, you know, I another important thing is to check when the folders are modified. Like six fifth, like um, if a fold if a folder is modified, it says like a very recent time. If I go here, I can't move it out of there. But essentially, if it says like right now it's seven fifty nine here, if it says um, like it's or seven fifty, if it says like it's modified around like a recent time, that means they probably moved something out and then question them about that. You can also check some of their screenshots and like you know older times. I mean, I have a lot. You don't have to go through each and every one, but check like some of their newer ones. If there's like a, like a hack client logo or something there, then you're gonna know. Make sure to check the date of when it was too. That's one thing. You also want to check their, you know, resource packs. Make sure there's they don't have anything hidden in there. That's an important thing. And obviously, you also want to look in their versions. So, here's what you do for versions. People can, well, people often do. If they don't, they're probably, like, it's, you should if you're trying to hack. But, like, you want to rename it. Like, they want to rename it, often rename it to something else. And, um, like, it may just look like normal file name, but it's often something else. For example, here, I named this ja -ja 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 -ja, just as an example. What you want to do through each and every one, you want to make sure you look inside the .json file. And as you can see here, it says it's x-ray right here, so that there is, means there's x around this client and close that you want to make sure to look through every single one it might take time but it's the best thing to do so you can tell if there's any client on them so that's one thing now that's pretty much it in the versions also you know for example down here it says x-ray or if it says like you know notice wolfram or anything so that's one thing you want to make sure about now, a lot of clients nowadays are injection, such as, you know, this one right here. This is not like a, a normal client. It's an, in, sorry about that. It's an injection client. Um, essentially, injection clients, you inject it into your game, and while the screen share is about to proceed, you can just be like, poof, I close the client, it's gone, you can't find it. Now, here's how to prevent that. You want to make sure, don't close the game, obviously. You want to go to task manager. And after that, you go to processes, and you see the Java Java W E X E like there's two. They want to see on the memory on how much case it is. This one, the eight hundred three thousand one. This one's your Minecraft. This one's usually something else. You can check 
both, but the bigger one is 90% of the time the Minecraft, like the biggest one of all. So you want what you want to do is click create dump file. And it might take time, you know, like it might like freeze up their game a little bit. But you want to make sure to create the dump file. Then it'll say the file is located at that location. You want to have the person to copy that. Control C. And now click OK. Go here. Control V. And then once you have it here, you want to make sure they have the program EM editor installed. You want to click then EM editor. And um, click continue. Click OK. All right, and uh, it's a free program. It's not a virus. If they say, "Oh, I, I think it's a virus," I'll have a link in the description for it. It's not a virus. If they refuse to download it, then just ban them. But um, this is basically what you want to do now: is hit Control F. As you can see, this pops up here, and you want to type in like client names. Like if I type in Triggerbot here, for example, and click Find Next. might take a little bit of time because I'm also recording up oh, as you can see boom trigger bot found right here or if you want to do something like a velocity because some this clients have that anti KB you know click find next boom velocity or the client name of itself in fuck, what the hell was the client name it was some gas name I don't even remember the name um, oh yeah incognito I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly click find next boom right here the client is right there or stuff like I don't know but yeah basically once you find that you're gonna know that the client is there the same thing is with many other clients too like I don't have spook on right now but if I click like find for spook spooky Casper um I don't have the spooky well well, because it's showing up there too. But yeah, essentially, you want me to make sure to type in, you know, spook. Um, in, I don't pronounce it, but incognito, all that. Because even if they close it, it's still going to pop up there and you're still going to get them exposed. Now, another thing for incognito, if they're using it, what you do have to do is. We can actually close this now. Close this. Um, when they open your Minecraft, you want to make sure to check here also let's say open it up you want to go to edit profile boom you can see here that that line here the specific line you'll have in the description too it's a path to the dot jar if when they have this here that means it leads to that dot jar and the client is there some people might try and delete it but <clears throat> but um that java dump file trick will always work for sure so those are pretty much the ways to be able to find any client ghost client or anything also you want to like you know have them to type in you know wolfram notice all that stuff here too just in case so you could see you don't have to go through their history you don't have to do any of that stuff as long as they don't log out any like client like notice can be found as long as they don't like log out or anything if they do or they say I crash most likely liar, so just auto ban them. And if they're using an injection client, and all you really have to do is just um, do the Java dump file trick, and then you can find it. So, thanks for watching. Hope you learned how to do it. Now don't now didn't find now know how to properly screen share, and don't let the person get away with it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.